Hey guys, welcome back to MonoView. Today we're going to be going over how to export your footage either by using an NVR with a USB flash drive or using MonoView Go for desktop. So obviously you've had something happen on your cameras and you need to export that footage either for personal use or for law enforcement officers. So here we have two main ways of extracting footage. Either it's going to be directly from your NVR onto a USB flash drive and your NVR has two USB ports, one in the back, one in the front. So how that works is you export the footage directly from the NVR in MP4 format or DAB onto the USB flash drive. And then with that, you can plug that into a computer to email those files over to anybody you would need. Or sometimes the law enforcement agencies will just take that, that little flash drive. Uh, they always will have an IT department that deals with this stuff and generally they'll know how to extract that footage at that point But it is quite tricky um, You know, there are a lot of different security surveillance systems out there. And so if they come to your house, they're Most likely not going to be able to help you with the NVR side of things So that's what this video is for to show you guys how to at least get that footage uh, and the footage that you need onto a USB flash drive and typically the Leos will take it from there So let's get into that first We're going to show you guys how to export it using the NVR There are two sort of methods from there. Of course, you're going to need a USB flash drive This can really be any size uh, typically though. You want it at least 20 gigabytes um, because most of the footage if you're going over anything within five to ten minutes of footage is generally a pretty large file so you want a large uh, flash drive to support that all right guys so to start things off we are going to go to the main menu of the nvr and we are looking for either playback or search depending on which firmware you guys have so once we get into the playback section the first thing we want to do is select which camera that has our footage that we want to export. So we can look at four cameras at once on playback, but for the purposes of exporting, I find it's much easier to do one camera at a time. So I've got uh, channel one here selected, and then the next thing you want to do is choose the date on the calendar for which the footage occurs that you want to export. So for this, I'm just going to do today's date. I'm going to go back to about 6 a.m. There's nothing in particular that happened but uh, it's easy to follow along and it gives you guys a good demo of extracting footage. So once we've chosen the date and the channel, the next thing we want to do is look down at the timeline where it's colored in either green, yellow, or blue. And we want to choose the hour at which the footage occurs. So for this one, I'm trying to get about 6 a.m. to 6.05. So I'm going to left click just before the six. And in the upper right corner, you guys will get the reference for what time you're actually on. So once you've got your beginning time, the first thing you want to do is select the little scissors icon just above the timeline here. That is going to give you your in time, which is shown just to the right of the scissors. And the next selection here is you're going to pick where you want the clip to end. So I'm going to go to about 6.05 and I get the playhead on that area. And once it's there, you're gonna press the scissors icon one more time. Then you'll notice the out time occurs in the second set of numbers. So finally, you'll notice I have 601.36 all the way to 605.57, which is roughly the time that I would want. And once you've chosen the appropriate clip that you wanna export, the final step here is to press the little save disk icon to the right of where the times are displayed. So the first thing you'll notice after we press the save icon is it's going to bring up the backup screen. On top here, we're going to see your USB flash drive should be revealed. It's going to have your free space and your total space. And then down below what you're seeing is the clip that we are exporting. So it's coming from channel D1. It is a regular type of recording as designated by the R. And then we have our start time and our end time, and then finally the size of the file. So if all that looks correct, we wanna choose our file format, uh, preferably MP4. This is a universally recognized format and pretty much any computer or device that can play footage will be able to recognize this. To finish up, we're gonna select backup. And this next page is asking us for a save path on the USB. When you've chosen that 
and you're all set, hit start. Once you click that, it's going to give you a progress bar. And then of course, as soon as it's done, it'll give you a confirmation that the download has finished. And at this point, you can jump out of playback and then extract your USB flash drive from the MBR. Now the file is on your USB flash drive, safe and secure, and you can continue to either give that to law enforcement or do what you wish with the clip. So the second method on our NVR to extract is going to be using the backup option. So once we get into backup, we're gonna see a few options here. And the thing about backup is that we're not gonna be able to see our footage prior to choosing it. How backup works is as long as you know what channel you need and what time the recording occurred, you're just selecting those parameters here on this screen and then doing a one button extraction. Some people find this easier, but keep in mind again, you're not gonna be able to watch your footage. You're gonna to have to know exactly where the footage is taking place in order to use the backup option. So first thing you wanna do is choose your channel. I've got D1 here, choose the date, and then choose the time. So I'm gonna go for June 25th from noon to 1210. So about a 10 minute clip. And when I hit search, uh, obviously I have some motion recording or something like that. So it's gonna, it's gonna separate it into a few different clips. However, you still have the option of getting everything from 12 o'clock to 12.10. You just have to make sure that all of these clips are selected. And if you notice, the first clip starts at 12 o'clock and the last clip ends at 12.10. So you're gonna get everything in between. So I've got my check mark on the left side next to D1 there and then all you've got to do is click back up and then you'll get your progress bar down below and as soon as that fills up then all that footage is going to be on your usb and you can extract it and do what you want keep in mind i do have the file format up above you can choose mp4 or dav again i really recommend mp4 for every export uh, because this file is easily recognized by anything Okay, so once you've got it backed up, you can pop that USB out of your NVR and you guys are good to go. For the final method of export, we are going to look into the Montevideo Go desktop version for exporting. This is personally my favorite because it exports the video right to your computer. And then from there, you can just email it to whoever you need and there are no third party devices necessary. So how you do this, is you want to download Montevideo Go from our website. It is free to use and free to download. Once you've got it and your NVR is added to the system, you'll want to go into playback. And then from playback, on the left side, you wanna open up your NVR to show any associated cameras. And then you wanna choose which camera you're trying to get footage from. So in this case, I'm gonna to try to get D1, which is our parking area. So I'm gonna select the box to the left, and then I'm gonna move down and I'm gonna make sure I'm getting the main records, which is the main recorded channel. And then finally, I'm gonna choose which date I want. So go down to the calendar, and you'll notice that it has a start time on the left and an end time on the right. So I wanna choose June 25th, that's the day I'm trying to get footage from. So I'm going to choose the 25th on the left side calendar and the 25th on the right side calendar. My tip for Montevideo Go is that you want at least an hour of footage selected. This is because the default clip when you choose to make one is going to be an hour long. And so for instance, if you only have a 20 minute clip brought up, the end of the clip will be off screen and it's not gonna work. So you'll see what I mean here in a minute, but just make sure you're choosing more than an hour of footage for this portion. So for this instance, I'm going to choose midnight to noon. So I've got about 12 hours of footage on this timeline. And once you've got your times chosen, then you want to left click on the search bar down below. It's going to search for the footage and then you're going to notice your screen should have a little film reel icon on it. So the next thing is you want to select that box and you'll notice that there is a white outline on the box when it's selected properly and you should see the corresponding recordings down below in the timeline. Again, these are gonna be colored in either green, yellow, or blue. So uh, I want to choose the portion of the clip I wanna extract. So I wanna left click on the timeline below. And once I've figured out where I wanna start my clip, I'm gonna press the little scissors icon down here to the left. 
Once I press that, as you can see, it's going to make a clip that's automatically an hour long as signified by the red lines. The left side is my start, the right side is my end time. To adjust the size of your clip, simply just move the red lines further or closer apart and it will give you all of your clip information as you do this in this little yellow box here. So I just wanna make like a really short clip here. So I'm gonna bring these red lines really close together. Once we have all of the footage in between our red lines that we wanna extract for the clip, we're gonna press the scissors icon one more time. This is gonna bring up our backup window where we can choose the parameters where we wanna save this stuff to. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna choose the location at which it's going to save to on my computer. The default location is kind of hard to find because it makes a file within your Montevue Go software. And um, yeah, in my opinion, it's, it's pretty difficult to find that stuff. So I usually browse and either make a folder on my desktop or you know just some, some location that you know that you can find where it's gonna save this video to. So once we've chosen the location of saving the file, we wanna choose the format. Again, MP4 is my preferred format here. And then just make sure all of the other things look correct, like your file size and your clip time. Once you've got that, you can go ahead and hit start, and then you will get the progress bar indicating when your export is finished. So once your export is finished, you guys can close out and then of course, always make sure that you can find that file on your, uh, on your computer. A little trick here is you can click on the exported tab up top and anything you've exported in this session will appear here. And you can click on the little folder icon to take you to exactly where that file's located within your computer. Double click, just make sure that it plays correctly. And as you can see, it uses Windows Media Player and it's playing just fine. So from here, it's gonna have a really bizarre name because it's gonna be your channel number and all sorts of numbers. But of course, uh, most computers, you can right click and then just choose rename and you can call it whatever you want for just easier titles. But at this point, you guys are all finished and you should have a completely exported clip. All right, guys, that's about all the info I have on the export process. So if you guys run into any obstacles or get into a jam, you can always give our tech support a call those guys uh, definitely know what they're doing when it comes to exporting videos. So if you guys need any assistance whatsoever, give them a call. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday for you guys. No questions too small. And as always, you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for choosing Montevue.